everyone. So I'm going to tell you, uh, explain to you how to do the chocolate drips. Uh, I won't show you everything in the video, but uh, basically we're going to put chocolate drips around the edge, all the way around on this particular cup, this kid's cup. And I've already mixed this up. It takes a while to let it sit. So I did five milliliters of part A, five milliliters of part B, and I use faux rizzle. Uh, UV so the timing is going to be based on the your your epoxy and the way you prep your epoxy so I heated my part A up a little bit and then mixed it with a part B and then I put once I mixed I put paints in so the acrylic paints I used were the apple barrel burnt umber and the metallic antique copper and I put this metallic in to kind of give it a little shine because uh, chocolate's not true brown totally so with these I get a good enough color and you'll see so this is that for about 30 minutes and it's pretty much at the consistency that we need so the time will vary like I said based on your epoxy and your prep of the epoxy so what we're gonna do is put it on here it can get messy so I usually get some q-tips for any cleanup and I have uh, my acetone if necessary all right I'm going to start with this laying down. And you just want to start drizzling this over the edge. Whoa. Oh my lord. I just got a big mess. One thing you have to watch out with this. All right. We'll clean that up here in a minute. And you kind of want to get it all the way to the edge so that, you know, you'll have the white of the cup showing. Turner here to help me out. This. Oh, I turn it and Get a pretty good gooey mess, so be careful. Right, I 
I'm just going to make sure I got the edge. try so I got some big messes I'm gonna use a baby wipe with acetone on it okay I got the majority of it all right, now let's do our drips. So now we want to let it drip downwards. You see it's starting to do its little drips? I put a little light on that one section, so. drip all right here see if I can help you along Probably a little bit much around the s'mores. So then what you can do is I normally put it on the turner and let it start spinning and it'll level out. So it'll stop doing the drips and you'll be good. But basically that's it. Just put your drip, drizzle around the edge. Try not to go too crazy with it because it will run away like that, but it looks kind of cute. Hope that helps. You know, it's nothing exciting. The, the prep time is probably the worst part of this, but super cute. Thanks everyone. Like and subscribe.